and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here, my name is Rachel and I'm a women's body transformation coach. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can tone your glutes, your arms, your back, your abs, your full body basically, without looking or feeling too bulky. Many women get a bit too confused when it comes to toning up. Now, toning up basically means that you're gonna reduce your body fat and increase your muscle so that you can see the definition from your muscle. It's that simple. So I've broken this down into five super easy steps that you can follow and implement straight away so that you can actually get results, the results that you really want in 2024. Which, by the way, seems really weird saying that. How the hell are we at the end of 2023 already? So let's get into it. Tip number one, you're going to need to train instead of just exercising. Now, what I mean by that is I see so many people, so many women go into the gym they do a few exercises, a few reps here and there, some random stuff. They barely break a sweat and then they go home. And they do that two or three times a week for a few months and don't get any results. And to be honest, I'm not even surprised. When it comes to toning up, when it comes to building muscle to tone, you need to really be pushing yourself. You need to really challenge yourself. You need to be training hard. And when you're training hard, you need to actually feel like you're working hard as well. If you're barely breaking a sweat, if you can still have a conversation in the middle of a leg press, I'm telling you now, you are not working hard enough. And ladies, don't panic. It's not gonna make you bulky. You're not gonna suddenly look like a man for doing three sets of 10 to 12 reps on the leg press. It doesn't work like that. If it did, I guarantee you now, I'd be looking very manly and so would so many other women that train with intent, that train hard, that really push themselves in their workouts. So instead of just going into the gym for a bit of fun, you need to make sure that your training is intense, it's specific, and it also applies progressive overload, which takes me on to tip number two. You need to stick to the same program for anywhere between six to 16 weeks. Now this is gonna to vary totally on your goal, the coaching style, the program style, but I see far too many women switch up their workouts all of the time. Every week they go in, they're doing all these random TikTok, YouTube, Instagram workouts that just aren't gonna get you the results. And the reason they're not gonna get you the results is because you're constantly doing different ones. These workouts that you're following, they're not specific to you, they're not specific to your goals, they don't apply any progressive overload. They don't cause you to work harder. Instead, you think you're just getting a workout in because you followed an influencer. Unfortunately, that's not gonna get you the results that you want, ladies. Again, you've gotta train hard. You've got to follow some structure that is the same that you repeat. Yet when you repeat it, you continue to push yourself. And don't panic. Again, you're not gonna turn into a man. You're not gonna get bulky. Because, number one, you won't be training hard enough anyway. Number two, you won't be eating enough. And number three, I doubt you're injecting anything dodgy into your backside, to say the least. Tip number three, which I've kind of touched on in tips one and two, and that is progressive overload. This basically means we need to increase the stimulus that is put on the body in order for the muscles to adapt over time. So when it comes to going into the gym and doing your workouts, the same workouts each week following that structure, what you don't want to be doing is lifting the same weights every single week or doing the exact same reps every single week. Instead, we need to be progressively overloading the amount of strain that we put on the body. So increasing the weights or doing more reps depending on what it says on your program. If you just do three sets of 10 reps on the same weight for 10 weeks, you probably won't look much different. Unless you're a newbie, then you might get some newbie gains, but you're not gonna look how you want to look. So it's really important that, again, you're challenging yourself. You're constantly pushing yourself. You are trying to lift more. Don't be afraid to lift more, ladies. As I've already said, you're not gonna turn into a man. You don't have enough testosterone in your body for that to happen anyway. So you don't need to panic about that. But if you want to tone up, you do need to build some kind of muscle there in order to tone it. Tip number four. If you want to tone up and if you've got body fat to lose, you will need to be in a slight calorie deficit. 
You will need to make sure that you can lose that body fat in order to show off the muscle that you have been building. Now, a really simple equation that you can do to calculate your calorie deficit is as follows. Number one, you need to take your body weight in pounds and multiply it by 10. That's going to give you your first answer. Then you need to take your body weight in pounds and multiply it by 12. And that's going to give you your second answer. And your calorie deficit range will sit somewhere in between those two numbers. Now, if you're someone that needs to lose a significant amount of weight, what I would suggest you do is instead of using your current body weight, use your goal body weight. So your goal body weight in pounds times by 10, your goal body weight in pounds times by 12. And that's going to give you your calorie deficit range. If you stick to these numbers and you drop body fat and you build muscle, you will tone up. It really is that simple. And finally, tip number five that so many women do not do. And that is to eat a substantial amount of protein that is going to allow for your muscles, number one, to recover and number two, to help them grow. Yes, you can work your absolute ass off in the gym, but if you're not then helping yourself out with fueling it with the right nutrition, you're losing out on some of the potential gains there. You're not going to get the physique that you want. So again, taking your body weight in pounds, you need to be having on average roughly 0.8 grams to 1.2 grams per pound of body weight in protein. Make sure you work that calculation out and make sure you aim between that range every single day, including the weekends, ladies, because those days still count as well, believe it or not. Don't overcomplicate it when it comes to hitting your protein target as well. Make sure you spread your protein out throughout the whole day. Get super organized with your food. Don't overcomplicate. Don't make things difficult for yourself. Instead, help yourself out, plan it and get super organized. If you follow these five steps and you follow them on a consistent basis, you have my word that you will transform your physique in 2024. No doubt about it. If you do those five things, if you actually train properly, if you follow a structured training plan, if you progressively overload that training plan, if you eat in a calorie deficit and if you hit your protein target, I guarantee you, you will tone up your physique in 2024. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel so you can come back and refer to all of these tips to help you along your journey. And if you're serious about transforming your physique in 2024, if you want to get the guesswork taken out of it for you, if you basically just want things made a bit easier and you want to become one of our next success stories in 2024, click the link below in the description and you'll be able to book in a discovery call with either myself or one of our team. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to speaking to you on the next video.